These are the remains of Whole House Mill, standing beside the River Eyre, on a home not far from Sorn in South Ayrshire. The first record of it is in 1646, when it was held by John Campbell of Cross Flat. It may have been an oatmeal mill, a corn mill, possibly one time also a linen mill before it became a farm. Waterside Farm stands on the other side of the river. Nearby stands Glen Logan House, once called Burn Head, where a small castle stood. It was renamed Logan after Dr Hugh Logan, who is the laird of Logan House at Cumnock. Robert Burns wrote a rather scurrilous epitaph about him. A long lost lane ran from the delightfully named Haggis Bank to Whole House Mill, on the way up past a retting pond that was used to prepare flax for making linen, and also the West Town Burn that may have supplied the water to power the mill. The Somerville family once held the lands of Whole House. They were well known for planting trees, which accounts for many large beech trees that still survive. By the 1850s it ceased to be a mill, and Graham Somerville leased it to a James Struthers. It was probably used as both a farm and offices, with a rather ornate garden lying between it and the banking. The lade carrying the water away from the water wheel ran across the field and down into the river air. Hill House still seems to have been still occupied up until the 1950s, but it's now very ruinous, it's hard to make out the remains of the, both the mill and the miller's house. However, the old lade which ran towards the water wheel still stands, and also there's still an underground culvert that carries the water down to the river, where there would have been a, a sluice so that the water wheel could be stopped when it wasn't required. The remains of a strange raised up area to the north of the mill house itself can still be seen. One tenant at the old mill was a John McCrae, who was a ploughman. He was there from 1885 to 1873. Rather romantically, he married an Anne Brown from Waterside Farm, which is just across the river. A home in Scots is a flat area of land often flooded by a river. This describes this area perfectly. It may be the name Hole House or Hall House. Originally it was Holm House. <laughs> 